Hi, I'm Rob Lusky, and this is Tool to Type. If you have a love for the lettering arts as much as I do, and you're interested in creating a font from your own hand lettering, my workshop, Tool to Type, may be the perfect place for you to learn. Generally speaking, there are only a few things you'll need. Tool to Type is taught virtually using the Zoom communications platform, so you want to have a fairly strong internet signal. Prior to the workshop, you'll need to download the software we'll be using, and you'll want to be ready with some of your own hand lettering you've digitized in your Macintosh. I'll elaborate more on what you'll need and what you'll learn in a moment. But before I talk about the workshop, allow me to tell you a little bit more about my background. I've been a graphic designer and lettering artist for the better part of 40 years. Early on, I was fortunate to have learned the lettering arts from some of the most gifted artists in the world. My time at Hallmark Cards afforded me the opportunity to work with and learn from people like Michael Saul, Rick Cusick, Calvert Guthrie, Anne Montgomery, Peter Noth, and many others too numerous to name. Some of these names may even be familiar to you. Many of these folks were experts in one particular style or another. Imagine being exposed to work like this on a daily basis. It would be impossible not to pick up a few tips along the way. So while I was able to glean some valuable knowledge and skill in a number of different techniques, I can't say I ever mastered any single hand. As the saying goes, a jack of all trades and a master of none. After leaving Hallmark, I began a freelance business. My experience made it easy to acquire some fairly high-profile corporate work, and my reputation eventually led me to opportunities to teach workshops and give lectures around the world. When I first began my freelance career in the late 80s, for most of my work, I was creating hand lettering for the social expression industry, you know, greeting cards and related products, as well as graphic design for the corporate world. My first use of font development software involved a logo for Hasbro Toys. It was then that I realized I could be far more productive with my lettering work if I were to create fonts from my own hand. Since the late 80s, I've created hundreds of fonts from my own hand lettering for both commissioned work as well as my own personal use. Now I know what you're probably thinking, when's he going to talk about the workshop? Well bear with me, I've got a couple more things I want to talk about the type industry. You see, it's my hope to pass along to you my experience, excitement, and expertise in type design. For centuries, the typographic industry has been a technical one. In fact, it could be said in some ways it was at the forefront of the computer age. Early typographic machines from the late 1800s may be considered some of the earliest forms of modern-day computers. For more in-depth information, you may want to check out my video, A Brief History of Type. And since this video is about my workshop, while you're at it, you may also want to check out a brief video demonstration I made in which I took a piece of Michael Clark's hand lettering and converted it into a font. I put links to both videos in the description below. The type industry has gone through many transformations from a mechanized one to a digital one. Gone are the large typesetting machines, and the design side has transformed as well. The constraints of metal type or even photo typesetting has given way to the digital age, allowing for more organic design. Until recently, book faces were the mainstay of design, even with more decorative styles. But if you haven't noticed, folks from the hand lettering side have found their place in the world of font design too. People like Jill Bell, Laura Worthington, Debbie Simentelli, Max Proviero, and many, many others like myself have found our place in the type design industry. And that's where you and I come in. Since type design is now digital, we too can participate in the contribution of our unique skill to people all over the globe. Type design isn't only for Westerners. 
If you're proficient in Hebrew, Middle Eastern, or Asian language forms, there's no need to be left out. The Glyphs app accommodates all of the necessary functions you need to create stunning font work in almost any language. In fact, years ago, I created a font that included the letter forms of the Cherokee Nation language. Before I move on to what you'll learn, let's review what you'll need to take the workshop. Today, font design is pretty much a Macintosh environment, though there are some who create fonts on Windows-based systems. Most serious designers use a Mac, so if you want to take the tool to type workshop and you use a Mac, you're good to go. The workshop is all about using the powerful font development software called Glyphs. A few days prior to the first session, you'll need to go to glyphsapp.com and download a trial version of the software. It's free and you'll be able to use the program throughout the course of the workshop. You can later decide if you want to purchase. For those on a limited budget, there's also a mini version of Glyphs that will have all the necessary functions to create a font. Also prior to the first session, digitize a piece of your own hand lettering from which to work. It can be an exemplar, a pangram, or a simple phrase. Just keep in mind the more letter forms the better. If you don't have a scanner, you can also use your phone to take a picture of your work as a last resort. The important thing is that your lettering is digitized in your computer. Next, we'll be meeting using Zoom. If you haven't used it, it's easy. Before each session, you'll receive an email notification with a link to the Zoom meeting. Click on the link and you'll be given access through your web browser. Remember, it's important you have a strong internet connection as video conferencing can be difficult if your signal is weak. Okay, so hopefully it's pretty clear what you'll need. You'll need a Macintosh, the Glyphs app, some lettering scanned into your computer, a good strong signal on the internet, and of course, we'll be meeting with Zoom. By the way, now would be a good time for me to mention that I plan a pre-workshop orientation. This will be for those who are a little apprehensive and not sure how to get their lettering into their computer or they just have general questions about the workshop. Now let's talk about what you'll learn. Tool to Type is a five-day workshop. There are three-hour sessions and we'll take breaks uh, probably one or two each session. We'll meet on weekdays in the evenings from 6.30 to 9.30 Central Time. Be sure to check your local time and set your calendar accordingly. We'll be meeting on Tuesdays and Thursdays over the course of two to three weeks. It'll be important that you work on your fonts between sessions. The more time you spend, the more you'll learn. So here's how the sessions break down. The first day is introductory. I'll tell you a little bit about my journey in the world of lettering arts and graphic design, and then I'll ask everyone else to share a little bit about themselves and then to show what they're going to be working on in the workshop. Once we've gotten to know each other a little better, I'll show a short video. In fact, each session will begin with a video showing what kind of information will be shared that day. You can refer back to that information at any time. Also, sessions will be recorded, so you'll have plenty of instructional information to refer to when you're working on your own. So in day one, we'll explore the basics of the Glyphs app, generally how the app works. You'll get accustomed to the font window and its various attributes, tools, panels, etc. You'll create a new font window, name it, and save it. Then, we'll begin the process of importing our hand lettering into the respective glyph cells. We'll also take a look at the anatomy of a letter, things most of us already know, but in the context of font creation. Day two will be about understanding how the tools for drawing or editing forms work. I'll demonstrate the pen tool and how to draw and edit vector shapes. We'll also talk about how font metrics work and touch on things like kerning and how the individual characters of a font relate to each other. By the end of day two, you will have an overall sense of how glyphs work, enough so that you will understand the things necessary to create an entire character set and be able to work on your own. Day three is more in-depth discovery of the tools and panels. 
This will be all about learning how some of the powerful functions like transformations and scripts make the design process easier. We'll cover the information window and how important it is to the export of the final work. By the way, the nice thing about Zoom is that you can allow me access to your computer and I can show you one-on-one -on -one how to navigate in the design process. In day four, we'll continue editing our fonts. At this point, we'll learn a bit about alternate characters, the importance of numerals, diacritics, and the open type programming that goes into a font design. By the end of this session, your font should be taking shape and we'll want to do a bit of testing. The final day, we'll cover the actual exportation of your design into a workable font that can be used in other programs like Illustrator or Microsoft Word. Though you will likely have more work that needs to be done on your font, by the end of the workshop, you will know all you need to complete your goals. At the end of day five, we're still not done because that brings me to the tool to type study group. Once all the sessions are complete, it doesn't end there. I will offer to all workshop attendees the opportunity to participate in additional meetings. This is less formal, but may still be very helpful to you if you wish to continue your font work. One final thing before I go. I'm passionate about helping others learn. If you have any questions about my workshop, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always available for a chat. So that's it for now. I hope I've piqued your interest in my tool to type workshop. Hope to see you there. I'm Rob Lusky. Thanks for watching.